name is Quentin Kermeen, president of Telemetry Solutions. If you're already familiar with Telemetry Solutions, you know that we specialize in miniature GPS devices for small mammals, birds, and herps. You may not know, however, that we also have a product line of GPS tracking collars for large mammals, such as bear, moose, caribou, etc. Obviously, as our customers have moved toward collars with satellite data download, we needed to create a product to keep up with the marketplace. Our first GPS collars with satellite data download went into the field on grizzly bears in the spring of 2011. Now we thought it's about time to start letting people know about this product and show you how it's different from the other GPS Iridium collars on the market. God knows there are enough of them out there. First, I want to briefly list the benefits that our product offers and then I'll go into more detail about how it all works. All of these benefits are included in our premium package. Reliability. All subassemblies are temperature cycled to eliminate marginal performance and weakness. Price. Fairly priced in the middle of the pack. Fast delivery. But not built fast. Limited numbers of collars in stock built over months, not days. Adaptable. Change collar settings or initiate a drop-off using the two-way communication. Flexibility. User sets GPS positioning times and Iridium communication interval. Convenient. Multiple ways to access and view data. Web access to map data and raw data and a CSV file for download to your PC. And on your mobile phone, text messages with position data and mortality and activity alarms. Backup systems on board. Multiple batteries and multiple communication systems, both Iridium and UHF for data downloads are included. Security. Transmitted data are backed up in three different ways so you don't have to worry about it. Simple drop-off. Integrated into the bottom housing, this drop-off mechanism is designed to work without binding. You're in the driver's seat with the mortality alarm settings. Both the lay time and movement thresholds that trigger mortality are set by you. Verification of true mortality. If the collar moves again after a, after a mortality alarm, you get an activity alarm that contradicts the mortality alarm. More than just GPS data, there is also activity data logging, and again, the parameters are set by you. And finally, peace of mind. Knowing that we're here to help you, full-time factory customer support. But how does all this work? Here's a demonstration that shows how our GPS Iridium system operates. Upon receiving your callers from us, use the Telemetry Solutions programming software to set the times and days for GPS positioning, the interval at which the caller will attempt to download data by satellite, the delay time for the mortality or activity alarm, the activity threshold below which the caller assumes immortality, the times for recording data, and finally, the drop-off date and time. When you deploy the callers, after a GPS position is recorded, it will be sent to a buffer memory in the caller. The buffer memory is where positions reside until they are sent to you by satellite. Now remember that you set some interval in hours at which the caller will attempt to establish communication with the Iridium satellite network. Whenever this interval has elapsed, the caller will attempt to establish a handshake with the Iridium satellite network. If a handshake is established, messages will begin transmitting. Each message can transmit 12 lines of data. If there are more than 12 lines of data in the caller's buffer memory, messages will continue to send until either the buffer memory is empty or the connection to the network is lost. If the connection is lost before a message can be completely transmitted, it will be held in the buffer memory for transmission the next time the network connection is established. The newest GPS positions are sent before the older positions that are in the buffer memory. Data are transmitted from the Iridium satellite network to a ground station and from there are routed to a server where they become available via the internet. There are four kinds of data that can be transmitted in a message. A message may contain GPS position data or activity alarms or mortality alarms or error messages. All four of these occupy one line in the message. Remember, each message transmits 12 lines of data. You are billed based upon the number of bytes of data sent per month. 36 messages are included in your monthly service fee. 36 messages hold 432 lines of data. 
After GPS positions are sent, they move over into the permanent memory. GPS position data are presented in four different ways. Text attachments to your email or via our password protected web interface which you can access from any computer on the web. There are data are presented as raw data displayed in table form in a CSV file for easy download to your PC and they are also displayed on a map. Mortality and activity alarms are displayed on our website and sent to your mobile phone. We secure all of your data by backing it up in three different off-site backup servers. Now you know how the caller works and how it sends data, let's talk a little bit about what commands you can send to the caller. From any computer where you can log on to the web, you get onto our password protected interface and you can change the interval between GPS positioning attempts, activate the drop off mechanism, or change the interval between Iridium network connection attempts, or in other words, the interval between the attempted data downloads. Our GPS Iridium callers also have a short range wireless transceiver built in. This is separate from the Iridium communication system. That means you can also do any of these tasks when you're in the field within range of the caller. You can download GPS data from the memory, change the GPS positioning schedule, or initiate a drop off. That was a lot of information, but we think it's important that you understand the product. Speaking of understanding GPS Iridium collar systems, have you tried to gather information about the different GPS Iridium collars on the market lately? We have, and I can tell you, even though this is what I do for a living, the information we collected was confusing, and it presented more questions than it answered. These collars are made in at least five different countries around the world. Telemetry Solutions is the only American company that builds this product with the features that I listed. We are based in California and are here to serve the North American large mammal market. If you're on the east side of the continent, don't worry. We open at 7 o'clock in the morning Pacific time and we're here for you too. Part of the reason we made this video was to help you understand our product as quickly and fully as possible because we know you have better things to do than to try to decipher oodles of information from six different telemetry companies. To further facilitate your investigation into these products, we have settled on just one price for our product. There are no add-ons. We're not going to gouge you for every little bell and whistle. It's all included in one price. I know this video is getting a little long. I'm almost finished. I just want to show you the actual collars. We build these collars in two different shapes, round or oval, and we have standard sizes already built. You can, see, you can see here that we have changed the way that the collar closes so that we have avoided that collar overlap that is common with traditional telemetry collars. The drop-off is right here on the end and it opens like this. The bottom housing carries the batteries, the transmitter, and the drop-off. The VHF transmitter has its own battery and is on 24-7. The drop-off has its own battery too. The Iridium transceiver has its own battery and the GPS shares a battery with the UHF download system. But there's a reason for all of these batteries and it's a good reason. The transmitter is a standalone device and so is the drop-off, although it can get signals from the Iridium and UHF transceivers. The GPS and Iridium are separate too. That makes for a really simple design because we didn't integrate everything into one system. By using simple independent systems rather than one big complicated system, we increase reliability. Now, the top housing is where the GPS antenna as well as the Iridium transceiver and Iridium antenna reside. Now I want to speak briefly about our customer support. We think we do a pretty good job in this department. In fact, take a look at the results of a recent random customer survey we did in which we asked customers how satisfied they were with our customer support. I'm going to let the results stand on their own. Note that none of the respondents indicated dissatisfaction at any level. Now, finally, a word about delivery. We maintain a limited number of collars in stock, almost totally built. We just need your desired neck circumference, collar shape, and VHF frequencies, and you'll have your collars in three weeks. These collars were not made in three weeks though. We spent months making them. The last three weeks just puts the finishing touches on them. 
Now thanks for watching this video today. If you found it useful, please share it on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'll see you next time.